Hi guys, it's Heidi from Dream in Color Creations. Um, it's wonderful to be back. Uh, I've promised you guys to do a video weekly. Unfortunately, I had a few technical problems. But I'm back and I'm here with a wonderful, wonderful journal kit. Um, which I did post on Boho Daydreams as well as Studio 28E. Um, guys... These are authentic African fabrics as well as some other fabrics that I thought would complement um, the journal theme or the, sorry, the African theme. Um, if you guys need anything else or require anything else that you would love, let me know. I can find out if I can get it. Um, but yeah, this is what I have for now. Um, and... Guys, I need you to have a look at these, and if you are interested, please send me a, a Facebook message on Messenger, um, and I will get back to you immediately or as soon as I can um, regarding the costs and how many you would like. Okay, I'm going to jump right into it. Um, the reason I've got two packages here is there's only one fabric in inside which is slightly different, which I'm just going to show you, um, which will differ from package to package. Um, every package will be, or bundle, or enclosed in a, just some off-cut leather. I love this leather, leather it's so, so soft. Um, this is a kind of a mesh. Now there will be two pieces of each, uh, in each package, two pieces of each. Um, of this one and the one above that. Um, this is a longer one and the one inside will be slightly smaller. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. Okay, the first one is obviously the mesh. It's a very, very soft mesh, but it's definitely woven. It's not plastic, it's definitely a fabric or a some kind of a, a, a cotton second one is this beautiful piece i based this journal kit on the big five the african big five which is the rhino the elephant the lion um the cheetah and the um the buffalo okay so as you can see there beautiful beautiful this is such a nice fabric it's it's very silky Although I think it's just a normal cotton, maybe with a little bit of wax in. I'm not a pro on fabrics, guys. So I can tell you what I know. Um, okay, I'm just going to go from the top now. I'm doing things completely the wrong way around, yeah? Okay, um, this is just a, a little um, piece of, it almost looks like upholstery uh, fabric, which I got off some curtains. Um that I had and I thought they would make a lovely maybe a little tag or a little uh, placeholder or something in the journal um, it's a lovely lovely colors um, some browns creams and some black then here I have uh, these are wax uh, wax based or wax covered fabrics guys they are absolutely awesome they don't really fray and they've got the most beautiful beautiful colors you'll see that all the uh, things inside all the, the the samples or all the the fabrics are different sizes um i cut according to what i could get and what i had um and try to accommodate everybody i've had so many requests for this fabric bundle or journal kit that I had to make quite a few. I only made 60. Um, guys, these are lovely colors with beautiful patterns. I must say that the African fabrics don't really have a lot of bling and a lot of uh, um, embroidery as such, but it has got the most beautiful and amazing artworks and colors. Okay, then here is the another wax based paper this one's got a bit of bling i don't know if you can see let's turn it that way there we go the 
there are bigger pieces inside, which has got slightly different patterns. Here's another one with the gold, and it's almost like a navy. This one here is also a navy, and a nice blue, almost like a royal blue. These are also from very old curtains that I got, guys. These are all embroidered. I don't think it's hand embroidered. Um, but this would also make a lovely, lovely um, addition to the journal. You could make a, a belly band. You could make a pocket. They are just absolutely lovely. It's quite a thick material or thick fabric. But it is lovely. These come in like a lightish brown, almost like a rusty color. And then some of the packages might have the darker one. This here, another printed fabric. This is, I don't think this is a wax based, but it's also lovely, lovely. It's it's very it's very smooth. It's got the most beautiful pictures on. Red, green, blue, almost like an orangey red. Then I've put a couple of these, um, I don't know what you call it, I think we, we just call it netting. Um, I suppose it's some kind of a um, tool um, and it's got some glitter in. And this is the red. I've put a couple of pieces of these inside. This one here is like once again just a normal fabric with some red and black. As you can see, guys, they're absolutely lovely. They've got the most beautiful patterns. You can do so much with them. Then each fabric bundle will have, of course, one of these in. I had to cut them like this just to have, let everybody have one of these beautiful flowers. I'm not sure what kind of a flower it is. But once again, the, the colors are absolutely stunning and the design of the pattern. This one here is like a bright pink with yellow and black. Then we have orange one with green with blues. Once again, one of those pieces of netting. This one is the orange one. They're not very soft, but they're also not hard, and they are absolutely beautiful. They shine so beautifully. I think it's beautiful. This year, guys, like I said, each one will have a different kind of pattern um, in it because the fabrics are so... Some of the fabrics have printing inside and then around the sides, but there is quite a few left, um, which I'm going to divide into all the 60 packages so you'll get a little bit of extra of some of the fabrics this one here is a very funny material or fabric it's um it's quite soft but it's the the the, the texture is very funny you go like this it's, it's smooth and you go back and it's actually quite rough so you can say it's almost like a velvet but it's not um it's got a little bit of a shine to it you can see more or less the texture of it quite a nice piece big piece there this one here has also got beautiful colors each one has got different cut cuts so you might have a little bit more of the pink and a little bit less of the orange and the green then once again one of these tools which is uh, netting this is the yellow Yeah, we have another wax covered or wax based um, fabric, guys. This is my absolute favorite. I just love the two colors together. Um, it's such a nice bright yellow with the most beautiful blues in. And um, it almost looks like the, the flowers were hand painted, but obviously these are all printed. Um, and it's also got the bling inside. This one's got the silver bling. Yeah, 
here we have another one which has also got the bling in and it's also the silver with yellow and blue slightly lighter blue and yellow this time nice generous piece there then here we've got a blue black and white fabric patterned fabric it's quite thin but guys all of these african fabrics are so nice and i think it's going to be perfect to actually decoupage with um, because it doesn't fall apart um, it's actually quite sturdy so I think it would make lovely covers book covers you can actually cut out the pictures and 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 <coughs> try and, 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 and do something with that um, these ones you'll see some of the packages I've only got a half um, I really did not have a lot, lot of these fabrics and I couldn't find any of it anywhere so I thought I might give everybody a little bit of the goodness um, this is a, in Afrikaans you call it an Asahai, and obviously this is the shield, that's the Asahai part, um, which the Zulus used to use um, when they were fighting, but it's actually quite a popular um, image to go on their fabrics, I think it's lovely. Um, yes, a green glitter one. Lovely guys, the shine is so beautiful. Um, and you actually can't see it properly on the camera, but it really is lovely. And here we've got another pattern, a green one with nice, I think it's brown or black, and yellow, orange, red, white. So it's got quite a few, but as you can see, it's quite it's quite bright. It's very vibrant colours and it's very nice to look at and to touch and to work with. And I think they're going to just bring life to a journal. Okay, here we start getting to your safari type um, fabrics. This one is also lovely. One of my favorites. It's got beautiful colors. It's got green. It's got like a rusty brown. It's got a darker brown. Um, and then of course the gold. This is also a wax covered one. Guys, these, these are absolutely amazing. Even if you look at the back, you can almost see the wax coming through. Um, they're absolutely lovely. Here is a, a black tool or knitting. And here you have a leopard print. Very soft material lovely material it's almost like a chiffon i'm going to try and get more of these pieces into the bundles this is just a normal i don't know what material this is i've got from an old tablecloth of mine it's also quite quite vintage it used to belong to my gran it is it looks a bit dull on the camera but it's actually a little bit more vibrant um, uh, beige or cream color and I love this fabric it is so beautiful oh, once again I don't know what material it is it is so lovely um, the glitter on it I'm not sure if it comes with the fabric or if it has come off from the actual um, glitter pieces that I've got in here but whichever way it's actually made it <laughs> giving it a nice effect this is a dark brown oops sorry and then of course that's there we go now I know why it's got so much glitter it had the glitter piece underneath so that might work if you want to use it for a flip up or a pocket look how nicely that actually the bottom of it actually affects it there we go and it's got a little bit of a, a, a pleats in or creased creasing and here we've got a gold piece beige and gold and here we've got another piece of leopard it's slightly different to 
to the one that I showed you just now. Also very soft. It is a chiffon. And this here is so beautiful, guys. This is almost like a suede. Suede leather look. I don't know if you can see the whole effect there. But it is beautiful. And it's so soft. Um, oh, I just love this. My heart actually broke when I cut this fabric. It is so beautiful. It is so lovely. And it's soft, 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 soft. Another piece of that netting or the um, mesh. And this is also a lovely piece. This is a quite a, a thick material. It would also make something lovely for the cover. Um, it's got the leopard heads inside, as you can see. Really lovely. And this is one of my favorites. It's got the most beautiful artwork on, guys. It's got most of the big five on here. Um, it is almost like an upholstery fabric. Once again, lovely to do a cover with. But it is lovely. I'm going to use another material that I unfortunately didn't have enough of um, to put in all the packs. But then I decided what I'm going to do is to put in each pack some journaling cards with this type of material. It's like a grayish. But I will do journaling cards with them and put them in each, each kit as well. And then we saw this one here as your other piece. Oops. Is your other piece of that um, one with the big five. Such nice artwork as well. And guys, this is the one I was talking about where you will either get this one in your in your pack um some of them have different tribal ladies on and the other ones have um one of the big five uh which will either be the rhino or the elephant or the lion or so on um and a slightly different color these are all printed in south africa designed by south africans um, guys, this is very, very, very expensive material. So, unfortunately, I could only put one piece in each pack. And that is your one bundle. <clears throat> now, that's not the end. You get more. With this fabric bundle... You are not just going to get the fabrics you are going to this journaling kit you are going to have it, take it either one of these stencils the tribal ladies it's either this one or this one guys they are custom designed and printed and um, they were printed by my very good friend lindy from uh lasered by design Okay, and then here's the other tribal lady, or you're going to get the leopard one. Sorry, I'm mistaken. You're going to get a tribal lady and a leopard one, or a tribal lady and a zebra one. Unfortunately, my zebra one um, didn't come out too nicely, so she's just recutting them for me. Um, and then, guys, these are also available um, if you want to purchase more of them with your pack. I'm just looking for my other ones. Okay, these ones here, um, each journaling kit, these are handmade cards that I did. Um, these are all stamps, very old stamps that I got from a friend of mine, um, and I made these cards, um, quite a while ago, um, get that one there, there's that one there, the elephant, and the lion, and the buffalo, also a gorgeous animal, 
que les peuples ou le titre. Et en course, de loin à l'œil. I think uh, you have more tribal ladies and tribal ladies and the children. So each kit will get three of these. They're going to be random. So you might get a lion, a rhino, and a tribal lady, or vice versa, or some other one way around. Then each package will also get one of these laser cuts. I can't, don't know what the, the name is for these, but I'm sure the ladies that do a lot of journaling and are journaling will know what you call these. Um, there's one with a rhino, so you'll get one per um, per journal kit. So there's the rhino. There's the one African mask. I'm just going to put them here. You can let me put them in my hand. The one African mask. Another African mask. Another African mask. The zebra. The lion, the gecko, the giraffe, or the elephant. Then you will also get a packet of beads which I have selected. It's got wooden beads. It's got some printed beads, it's got some beans, it's got some seeds, seed beans, it's got the real African beads, those little colored ones you see there. And then I'll put in each one gets a little elephant charm and a little ball bead. Then with that you're also going to get package like this which has um, pieces of rope different colors there's a black there's a gray there's a white um, almost like a dark beige and then this almost salmon color with some raffia and then also a piece of chain now for you guys that don't know raffia it's basically grass which you get in, I don't know if you can hear that and see that. But guys, these make absolutely exquisite cards that would make a beautiful um, little bows or just an effect in your journal. Or you can close it with the raffia. And... That is it, guys. Oh, sorry. No, it's not it. Um, you will also be getting some serviettes. Um, sorry, I just need to find them quickly. Okay, this is what I was looking for. You will get, each pack will get serviettes. Aren't these gorgeous? Which you can use to decoupage, which most, most ladies will do. This one has got the Africa. This one has got Safari. This is the zebra one. And this is the leopard one. Which will also make beautiful covers guys then each package will get a piece of leather guys unfortunately these are off cut so i can't tell you yours is going to be exactly this big and exactly but they're all more or less the same size and but they're all different shapes that's a light brown or a tan this is a dark brown Another light brown one with a different type of pattern on, a little bit more creased. A dark brown. 
and like a tan color so yes guys there's a big variety in this pack um like i said i still have a lot of um extra fabrics left which i'm gonna pop into the bundles as well but this is what the bundle includes guys if you have any questions and then of course there's going to be a couple surprises and a little gift from me to you guys um which is just true south african um and yes thank you very much guys um i want to ask you to please subscribe to my channel um there will be some giveaways to a lucky subscriber that who purchases one of these beautiful journal kits um i might make it two more so there might be three lucky draws um i will let you know later in the week what the prizes will be on those um but please subscribe please share with your friends your journaling friends and um yeah i hope you guys have an absolutely wonderful week um and great shout out to my friends uh, Sheila Gingrich, please enjoy your trip to visit your granddaughter in Canada. And then also for Sherry from Studio 28, Sherry, I hope you feel better soon and I hope you get your answers you need. Um, and then, guys, both those ladies um, have Facebook pages, journaling pages, um, which is Studio 28 and also Boho Day Dreams. Um, and they, or she, uh, Sherry has a Etsy store as well. Um, you will find the links below in the description, um, as well as my personal Facebook page, um, and there's, so guys, or the, 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 um, uh, pages for, for the journaling pages. Guys, um, thank you very much for giving me this opportunity. Um, it's still going a bit uh, slow and, and uh, not very professional, but we're getting there. We're getting there. This is the second video. Hopefully by the third time we are lucky and it will sound a little bit better. But yes, I hope you enjoy your week and thank you for looking at these packages. And please let me know what you think. Thank you. Bye-bye.